Hey everyone, if you're doing higher level maths for Junior Cycle 2025, then this video is going to be your roadmap over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to show you what's likely to come up, the sneaky tricks that examiners use, and top tips to maximize your marks. So let's jump right in. Looking at the patterns over the past few years, um, there are a couple of things that we notice. So algebra is everywhere. Equations, expressions, and patterns always feature, and students are expected to be able to manipulate algebraic expressions and then solve equations. Coordinate geometry is coming up in various forms, so you'll get things like slope, midpoint, distance, and the equation of the line. They come up every year. Probability and statistics are also very reliable topics. They appear um, in every year over the past few years in visual format. So you get things like bar charts, tree diagrams, etc. Number and ratio um, is another thing that's quite common. So students often have to calculate profit and loss or do scaled diagrams. Functions and graphs, so things like sketching graphs and um, describing graphs. Um, they're hugely, also hugely beneficial towards your leaving cert preparation. So being able to really understand what's going on with graphs and functions is going to be very helpful to you over the next couple of years as well. Um, and then geometry and trigonometry. So constructions and theorems are less important in recent years, um, but I would definitely keep an eye on things like Pythagoras and your trig ratios. So sine, cosine, tan, it's one of those is almost guaranteed. And just to mention to you that there is a limited offer at the moment on the exam revision platform, where if you use code 2025 tips, you will get 10% off a revision package. So what do you get with the exam revision platform and the complete revision package? Basically, you get hundreds of bite-sized video tutorials that make learning easier for students. So from our university-based research and first-hand experience of teaching in the classroom, Exam Revision have created and built the ultimate learning platform for secondary school students in Ireland. So we have a range of junior and leave insert subjects on our platform, and each subject covers the entire course in detail, providing support right from the basics up to your highest achievable level, which for our junior cycle students is distinctions. Our complete revision package will give you the entire junior leave insert subjects broken down into these bite-sized videos. You also get PowerPoint presentations, distinction notes, quizzes, exam paper questions and marking schemes, a reflection log and smart adaptive technology that is built into the platform. And again, if you use the code 2025 tips, there is 10% off revision packages at the moment. So based on what we've looked at over the past few years, what are the possible questions for 2025? Statistics is one thing that I'd be keeping a very close eye on. So mean, mode, median, different types of graphs, things like histograms and bar charts. Inequalities have not been a big feature for a few years, so they are a likely comeback. You want to be able to solve inequalities and also be able to graph them. That means making sure you understand and are aware of the different letters for your um, types of numbers. So your natural numbers, your integers, your real numbers and how to graph those. Venn diagrams, I would keep an eye on those specifically with three different sets. Make sure you know the different notations for Venn diagrams. If you don't know those notations, the question is almost impossible. In terms of number, I would definitely be practicing questions with income tax, interest, VAT, percentage profit and loss. They're almost guaranteed to appear in some form. Functions. So when I talk about functions, we're talking about domain, range being able to substitute into a function and draw a graph. Very useful here to be able to use your calculator to do that. So definitely practice that over the next few weeks and make sure you're comfortable with it. Distance time graphs also link with functions. And I do think they are possible um, and be aware of how to calculate distance, speed and time so that it links over into your science curriculum as well. And just to mention that the junior cycle paper in general blends concepts. So each question is likely to have be pulling from different areas of the curriculum. For example, geometry could be mixed with algebra or statistics. And um, so I would definitely keep an eye on questions and practice problems that mix skills. 
Now, as a examiner with the SEC myself, I'm going to give you some inside information of the common pitfalls that we see and where students lose really big marks every year. So misreading questions is a huge one. Don't rush. Always underline what you're being asked, especially if it's a multi-step question. So if you're being asked to do more than one thing in a question. Misreading diagrams. The big thing here is that students often assume that diagrams are drawn to scale and if they are asked for an angle, they take out a protractor and they measure it. Often your graphs are not drawn to scale, so be aware of that. Algebra slips. So the these are sign errors and it's the number one reason students lose marks in algebra. So you want to practice being able to simplify algebraic expressions very carefully. However, I always tell my own students, remember that if you make a distributive error, so that is an error when you're multiplying out signs, if you do that early on in your solution, your examiner will continue to mark your question. So all is not lost. So don't lose complete hope on it, um, but do practice it. Units and labels. Um, so marks are lost for missing out maybe your centimetre squared or metre cubed or not labelling your axes or graphs or in things like coordinate geometry where you're plotting points, not labelling those points, you can lose marks there. Incorrect calculator use. So don't rely on your calculator for logic based questions. So what I would do is say when you do a question, always look back and read the, the what was asked of you and think, does this answer make sense in this context? And finally, explain your answer questions. These require a sentence. You will not get full marks for just writing the correct number. You have to use your mathematical knowledge, your mathematical list literacy to actually explain your answer. So here's how you can structure your study effectively over the next few weeks and what I would suggest that you do. Focus on past paper questions by topic. So pick one topic per revision session um, and, and stick with it. Use a red, amber, green system. So red for things that you're struggling with, amber, you're okay, and green, you're feeling very confident. I prioritize the red questions or the red topics and then ask your teacher, teacher or tutor for help or you, you can always go and have a look at the um, videos on examrevision.ie. Mock marking. So this means practice marking your own work with a marking scheme that teaches you where you get marks, but it also shows you where you lose marks. So that's very, very useful for students. Timed practice. So set a timer for 15 or 30 minutes and try small sections under exam conditions. Um, just put everything away and really give it, give it a go. Verbalize. So you wanna say your um, logic or your explanation out loud. You wanna tell somebody else. If you can teach it, you know it. It means you can definitely do it. Use visuals, so things like mind maps, worked examples, and you could pin those maybe to the wall um, in your room where you study or in an office or on the, the, the fridge in the kitchen, whatever suits um, wherever you're doing your revision. And again, um, if you do want access to exam revision, you can use the code 2025TIPS to get 10% off at the moment. With the exam revision platform, you also get many other um, subjects. So we have Irish, English, maths, history, science, geography, business, and home ec all for junior cycle. And then for any students who are currently in second year or first year, coming in September, 2025 will be French, Spanish, and religion. All of the other subjects are in development at the moment. Um, and there are exam papers and marking schemes available for all subjects on the platform. You can also see here some reviews from students over the past um, couple of months and years. So you can see that exam revision has really helped an awful lot of students to maximize their marks in state exams. Now to wrap up, here are some last minute golden nuggets from me as an SEC examiner on how to maximize your marks in the junior cycle higher level paper. So firstly, learn how to use formulas. It's not enough to just know that you can get them in the formula and tables book. You need to know how and very importantly, when to use them. And um, so definitely practice that and be aware of exactly what page you're going to be very familiar with the formula and tables book 
um, before you go into your exam. Don't leave blanks. If you learn nothing else in this video, this is the big take home message. Do not leave blanks. The only way you are guaranteed to get zero marks is to leave blanks. So don't do it. Use your reading time wisely. So plan which questions you're going to tackle first um, and kind of organize yourself at, at the start of your exam. Don't just launch straight in. That leads me straight into the next tip, which is start with your best question. So you do not need to answer the paper in order. If you find that your favorite question, the thing you're best at doing is a graphing question, but that's question five on the paper, no problem. You can start with question five and then move on to other questions. So that means using the time wisely, that reading time to identify where is your strong question. And finally, review your work. So keep five minutes at the end of the exam to check for silly errors, things like those distributive errors that I spoke about earlier on, where you've multiplied a sign incorrectly, etc., or where you may have left out units or missed labeling a point on a graph or on a Cartesian plane or something like that. So that is it, your crash course for smashing junior cycle higher level maths in 2025 and again do remember that there's currently 10% off revision packages with exam revision and um, when you use the code 2025 tips